Mimi nataka niambie nyinyi machifu. Ile maneno mlikuwa nayo kwa ile serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta muachane naye. This is a new government. It's a people's government. Hii ni serikali ya raia ya kushughulikia hawa wananchi hawa. Na kazi yenu ni kushughulikia hawa wananchi. Na wale ambaye hamtabadilika tutatoa nyinyi mwende nyumbani. Wale ambaye muko tayari kubadilika mkuje tufanye kazi pamoja. Nilisikia wewe deputy kabunde commissioner ati unasema ati maneno ilikuwa kidogo ati kwa nini napelekwa juu. Mambo hii ya wananchi kuagaishwa ni mambo kidogo. Sio mimi niko hapa naibu wa rais. Kama familia 105 wanaona nje huwa nasema ni mambo kidogo. Sasa kazi yangu mimi kama deputy president kazi ya president kama watu mia moja hamsini wamelala nje sio ndio mambo ya muhimu yeah. that is what is important to this government and you people from the previous administration you need to shape up or ship out hii maneno hatutakubali tena na mimi niseme our police officers we have a very professional police service inspector general wetu bwana kombe hakujua hii maneno na hakuidhinisha hii maneno na amechukua hatua tayari. Deputy Inspector General was not aware. The Regional Police Commander was not aware. We have a few rotten police officers within our service. Na tutawatoa haraka 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 mpaka tubaki na kikosi ambaye ni ya kusaidia wananchi na ni ya kufuata sheria. This is a people's government. Na President William Ruto is a people's person. His leadership revolves around the people. So government officers must align yourself to the president's thinking around the people. Hata sasa nisikia ati walikuwa nasema ati ni niende niongeleze nyinyi huko kwa kiwanja ni nisione yeye aibu. Unafikiria mimi ni mchinga? Hii mambo mimi na wanafikiria mimi ni mtu mchinga? Ati wanipeleke huko kwa kiwanja ndio nisione yeye aibu. I cannot I'm not stupid. You need to respect me. Ati munipange huko mimi ni mtu akupanga. Hawajui sisi hatupangui kwi. Si lazima nikuje nione. Eh, si yenye disbelieving. Si nimeona ile maneno yatokea hapa. Mpaka machozi manitoka. Wewe unakuja polisi unasimamia mali ya raia inavujwa ukiwa na buduki. Hiyo buduki na risasi ni ya kulinda wananchi na mali yao. Hapana ya kuja kusimamia uharibifu. So hiyo polisi komara tumemtoa. Na anachukuliwa tu. Na nitakwambia IG hii hasara hii watalipa hii. Yes. That is not your work, police officers. Please do your work. Protect life and property. But the good thing is that most come in court order. Ya eviction, sawa. Mupeleke kwa kamati ya usalama. Kamati ikae. Iulize hawa watu wanatolewa, wataenda wapi. Kama watatolewa, watatolewa vipi. Lakini kulete bulldoza kuharibu mali ya raia na county commander anasimamia na butuki ambaye sisi tunamlipa mshahara imetoka kwa raia anasimamia mali ya raia inaharibiwa hiyo ni kitu ambayo inawezekana na mimi nataka niambie polisi bali popote waliko katika jamhuri ya Kenya kwa niamba ya rais William Ruto any police commander who will supervise eviction and demolition without authority of the respective county security and intelligence committee you will be on your own hii yes. maneno rais hakujua si kujua professor kidiki hakujua ps remo domolo hakujua regional commission hakujua ig hakujua deputy inspector general hakujua county police commander alipewa pesa akakuja kusimamia tayari tumemtoa nakuru na tutamchukulia hatua ya kinidhamu tumemtoa